Choose one, boy or girl. Choose boy. You can't change it later on, unfortunately, in this. But hey, that's fine. We get to choose our skin color, eye color, which I'm going to choose green-ish. Happy with this look? You can... Oh, you can totally change it later if you want to. I, I'm lying to myself, apparently. Anyway, it's fine. Let's go. Hey you! Yeah you! Want to be the freshest squid on the block? Learn some funky fresh moves on the way to Incopolis. So, using the Wii U gamepad, this is on Wii U, I really wish that, like, they'd put, like, older games onto the Switch. But specifically, like, the adventure modes, basically. But anyway, hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Splatoon. Probably a game that I've missed more than I realized. So, let's shoot with the ZR button, aiming around with the motion controls of the gamepad, because we can just move it in my hands and it moves around. There's also a map on the Wii U gamepad screen, which is actually quite nice, because that's not a thing in the future versions of Splatoon, basically. But anyway, we can look around with right stick, move around with left stick. We can also press ZL to go into squid form. Whenever we shoot our ink, we paint the ground around us. And the squid form, which we're by pressing ZL, allows us to go into it, recovering our ink, which is that bar there that's full up, because we need to have that full at all times, basically, to just be able to paint. It automatically fills up if we are just standing around doing nothing, or if we go into squid form, outside of the ink it also fills up a little bit faster, but if we go into the ink it fills up a lot faster. But anyway, let's keep shooting at everything, popping all these balloons. It takes a few hits sometimes to hit things. Also, I just want to point out that there's an interesting spread of um, ink around us. So it goes within that cursor's width, basically. So painting a lot of things in front of us, which is pretty good for this weapon. Uh, but we can also press Y to reset our uh, center of the controller's aim, which is good because I'm probably going to mess that up. Uh, but also, as we paint things and go into squid form, we can also go up walls with that ability. So we can actually like paint up this. And we can actually go up it like that. We can also press X to jump, which is helpful to know because we're going to need that uh, for specific loot reasons, which I'm going to explain in just a second. So let's paint this a little bit here and go into the wall. We haven't got it painted all the way, but if we keep jumping, very slowly, it's actually spreading the ink up the wall. Which is helpful because that'll allow us to get to things that we can't quite get to sometimes. Also, I've missed this game so much, like the original version, just because the music... Like, something about the, the feel of Splatoon 1 and the music just works so well. I feel like it's slightly glossier with the, the paint and all that, which is I really like. I might be wrong about that, but it just... Something's different, and I really like it. Uh, but anyway, let's go into squid form on this ink and use X to jump, because we can actually go a little bit faster. We can actually make that jump in squid form, so need to keep that in mind. Also in squid form, we can actually go through grates. So let's swim through that, just like that. We're right through. Now, there's some in enemy ink here. That means that we'll take damage as we're standing in it. And we won't recover ink very quickly, but we want to make sure that we basically paint over it to cover space. And just make sure there's no enemies there, because there can be enemies as we go further, further into this. Now, over here, let's press R to throw a, a bomb, which will use up a fair bit of ink. You can actually see... Hang on. We, we don't have enough ink to throw another one, except that I do now. I believe there's a... Maybe not in this version, but there's... In future versions, it shows how much ink is required for a weapon. Like a... A sub-weapon, I believe it's called. Ah, uh, but there we go. Just climb up the wall and go through the grates. Just use everything we've learned. And now we can go to uh, squid form into this thing here to super jump... ...to the Incopolis Square, I believe the main area. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with weapons or go into the uh, multiplayer just because I, I, I'm I, not I'm not going to be able to do it. It's, 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 it's difficult to go back once you've gone forward in Splatoon. But here we are. Man, I miss this place so much. <laughs> it feels so strange being back here, but it's also so nice. But yes, welcome to Splatoon. This is from 2015. And it was an instant classic, basically. Let's press CL and ZR to start. Hold on to your tentacles. 
It's Inkopolis news time. Also, it's Callie and Murray. Or, you know, Calamari. Let's unveil the current regular battle stages. Here they come. I'm glad this this is still going. Bluefin... Bluefin Deport. We shot a music video here one time, right? That was grueling... a grueling day. And Mori Towers, the one that will always be in every Splatoon game, probably. Mori, tell us about this... Ta how to tackle this stage. Um... Get them before they get you. Now, here are the current ranked battle stages. Splat-tastic. Urchin underpass. Good one. Ah, some of these signs are pictures of us. Only some of them. Why not all of them? And Hammerhead Bridge. When it's done, this will be the longest bridge around. It's probably... It'll probably have the most expensive toll, too. Oh, newsflash, newsflash! What is it? What is it? Inkopolis's great zapfish has vanished! Wait, seriously? If it... If it doesn't get found, are we gonna be out of power? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully. I wonder if it has anything to do with it, that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, folks. Stay fresh! So basically, the Squid Sisters give their news, and we'll tell you what the current battle and ranked battle stages are for Turf War and other ver uh, ranked stuff, so. Welcome to Inkopolis. This is the plaza where the freshest guys and gals come to hang out. Every day, you can find people here enjoying their favorite pastime. Battling. The huge building in front of you is Inkopolis Tower. It is the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the ground floor of Inkopolis Tower for online battles. This is the Bo Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your inkling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But be careful, the staff in the shops can be pretty snobby. And they won't serve you if they don't think you're cool enough. So basically you need to level up in the regular online battles to buy stuff there. But I'm not going to be doing that. On the first floor of that building over there is the Battle Dojo. Here you can sharpen your skills by battling one-on-one -on -one against your friend. If you have everything for it, which is probably unlikely. You're probably better off getting Splatoon 2 for multiplayer with your friends, probably. You might want to steer clear of that back alley. It smells a little fishy. Where you can get upgrades for getting... Uh... Sea snails, I believe. And next... Huh? Who's that strange old guy? He seems a bit shady. <laughs> yeah, he's shady. The kind of guy who could get you mixed up in something dangerous. And that's what we're going to mainly focus on. Anyway, why don't you just uh, head over to the lobby in Inkopolis Tower? I would, but I can't because I, I just can't. That's where you can get battling. Although one advantage of... The original Splatoon is the multiplayer was free. You didn't have to have Nintendo Switch Online. While we're here, I want to note this this area here for future reference. This this basically four-way crossing of everything. But anyway, I had to say goodbye to my original profile, which I didn't have many levels on, but I did have completed. I did complete the entire entirety of Adventure Mode. So, which this is what this is over here. So let's go in. Just need to go into inkling form and just go th right through. Welcome to the greatest place of Splatoon. It re it's just such a classic. The 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 ok ok ok. Doctarians are coming. Ah, I I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment there. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squid Beak Splatoon. That look in your eyes. I've been waiting for a young and like you. The great zapfish that powers Inkopolis has vanished. And though nobody will believe me, it's the work of the Octarians. They are after revenge for their defeat in the hundred year the war a hundred years ago. How did I get in caught up in all this so fast? You 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 saw me and now you're explaining this like the lore behind everything that you this conspiracy theory that you have is just right here in front of you and you're explaining it all to me, just because I looked- I was in front of you. 
I was keeping a watchful eye on them myself, of course. But they stole the great zapfish from right under my nose. Please, you must help me recover the great zapfish. Ah. Uh, okay. He's staring into my soul. I think. I'll take your silence to mean yes, of course I'll help. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Take this special hero suit, it will help you withstand their ink. What a perfect fit for a hand-me-down from Agent 1, Agents 1 and 2. Now let's go beat those nasty Octarians, I'm counting on you. So now we're basically able to shoot around this area. It's, it's so nice being able to just shoot around and paint stuff because you can't do this in the main plaza. But it'd be nice to be able to do that. Uh, also on the map, which you can't see because it's on the gamepad, there is uh, each area of the the world here, which is just all around uh, on it. Uh, we can see that there are specific markers, but we can't really do anything with them. Uh, so let me go over this way. Just trying to jump over this and keep going this way. We can obviously swim faster than we can walk. But there's this cattle here that we can't do anything with. Which we need more zapfish for. And it's plugged into, with the electricity into this thing over here. Which just bounces us back so we can't really go that way. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's go up this way. I love just being able to paint everything. We also have a different colour pretty much every time we come here, so. But we can hear some music coming from somewhere. And this ink isn't exactly covering up this spot here. There's actually a octopus marking, I believe, underneath this, which is really cool. But if we paint this invisible thing, it's an entrance to an octarian lair. Which is, of course, a ke another kettle. Let's go in to Oct Octo Trooper Hideout. Get that zapfish. We can also see that there is an outline of something on the left that we need to get. It also shows which number, like which level number this is. And on the right, it shows us the silhouette of something we're going to interact with in the level. So let's go in. The, the, the Joy of Splatoon, as on Switch and Wii U, over to you, Agent 3, is using the motion controls to move around, but also using the right stick to look around as well. Just using a mix of them is really good. It's an Octa Trooper. Use the R to sh attack the Blighter. So we just need to shoot them a few times. Just like that. Superb. Jolly good show. We also have this collectible here, which is a fish egg, I believe. We need to collect those to be able to upgrade a weapon. Uh, but we also have these boxes here, which the plain ones are just boxes to break out of the way. Uh, but these orange ones here with a squid icon on them have fish eggs in them for you. So we're going to need to try and break these open to try and collect some more of them. We don't have to collect them, but it'll be very useful to get them. Hide yourself with ZL. You can move without being seen. Oh, interesting. But also, this is a checkpoint. We only have three lives as shown as the, in the top left. Every time we get to a checkpoint, we refill one of the ones that we've lost, if we have lost one. Uh, but every time we die, we go back to the previous checkpoint and have to repaint everything again. But basically, because we're in the ink, we can't be seen by this... Uh... Octo shooter. I can't remember what it's actually called. But let's just shoot you from behind because he's got a shield. I think we can possibly break the shield, I'm, although I might be wrong because I'm used to playing Splatoon 2 at this point. Let's just break all of this and let's keep going. Need to make sure that we have plenty of ink to keep spreading everywhere. Take cover behind the wall and ha take, have a breather. Just be careful basically with going all out, but I, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm alright. Uh, let me just keep looking around quickly. I think we're alright for collectibles at the moment. But I will probably want more stuff. Now, over here, those shielded blighters can't be hit from the front. Throw a bomb with R, then give him hell in the back. So let's just go ahead and throw. We can actually see the arc of our throw as if we hold down the button, which is good. And we also have the, like this marker thing that was pointing us in the direction of where we need to go next whenever we open up one of these super jump launcher things. But let's keep going. Use R to distract them with a bomb. Use the L to recover, because it uses a lot of ink to throw a bomb out. So we need to be careful of that. Please shoot you, thank you. If you fall in that hole there, we can just get back up again using ink. Launch Padahoy. Let's keep going. 
Can you take out all these enemies? Not letting them spread their ink so that we slow down on it and get taken out. Launch pad ahoy. But before we do that, I actually want to go up this way. And we could just, you know, go up here and... Eh. It, yeah. We could just go over here and shoot this all the way up. But we can also stand the ground and just work our way up slowly like I did with over here. That's the useful thing about being able to spread your ink on a wall. Is if you don't quite make it all the way, you can just get there if you need to by spreading ink. Anyway, that which we just got there is a, a sea scroll, I believe. I can't remember if it's got any extra words in there. But there is one of them in, in each level that we need to collect. We can only collect them once, and then we have them. But we, we want to make sure we keep an eye out for them as we go forward. A suit of armor, jolly good. So this suitcase over here is an upgrade, like a, a piece of, uh, ugh, a piece of armor, which will give us a little bit more armor on us. And we can get a few of these, which will first give us a helmet, but also give us fishing poles, I believe. The more we get. Uh, but if we, if we basically die with a piece of armor, instead of dying, we'll basically use up that armor and we'll lose it for a little bit. So until we get more armor, so. But that's basically how it works. There's a vault over there, over there, and we need a key to open it, which the key looks like a crab, which is over there. It's just a cool thing. It's just got its pincers up above it. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So we need to grab that, and then take it over to the vault. So let's do that. Open that. That's it. Keep it up. And then we can super jump to the end, basically. A key! Look for a key! Okay. Seems good to me. We can kind of go through enemy ink a little bit, but not too much, because otherwise we're gonna take more damage than we probably want to. Now let's check these boxes. Get the key. But I think that's also gonna spawn in some more enemies, so I'm gonna need to be careful. Yep, there they are. Probably don't even need to worry about them. That one up there was actually a strong one, because it has more tentacles on it. Ah, uh, but that's basically it, so... Let's just go ahead and throw a bomb into the zapfish to break it open and grab it. We can just shoot it with regular ink, but throwing a bomb at it is just better. Any extra arm we have will give us a little bit of extra fish eggs when we complete the level. But there we go. Since time immor- immor- Im immemorable. I think. Immemorable? I don't know. A rare type of electric catfish, known as the zapfish, have been prized by Inkling society as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great zapfish. So each sea scroll that we collect will unlock a new page in this book here for us to read, which is really cool. But anyway, we can also hide research notes with A to just look at the images that they put in here, which is really cool. But anyway, let's close that. We have our first zapfish. It's only a small zapfish. And we're gonna need more better ones. Like the, we're just aiming to get the great zapfish. But anyway, good work on your first mission. I didn't read the rest because I was too busy explaining other things. But anyway, there's another kettle over here. And also another one over here. You can kind of see them like phasing in and out of existence slightly. But this is the third one. And on the map on the gamepad, if you tap the one that you want to go to, you super jump over to it, which is really useful much later on. And since this whole area is one area, we can actually jump to later levels from anywhere, basically. But anyway, Lair of the Octoballs. Splat your way to the top. After you complete the mission, the, uh... The silhouette of the thing that you interact in the level will become visible as well. But anyway, let's get rid of this octobomb thing. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. I... Splatter the ink wall of ink, then swim up in squid form. I feel like I know the names, but I actually don't remember what the actual names are for some reason. But anyway, let's blow this up, which will blow up a lot more ink everywhere. It's a very helpful thing to blow up. Just a little, It takes a little bit of ink to just explode that and spread everywhere. But anyway, I see you up there. I try and take you out before you can get to me and explode. Oh, hello. Gonna get rid of you. Very nice. This is fairly basic, but I really like the feel of Splatoon 1. 
compared to two. Something about it is just different and I like it. But anyway, let's grab these uh, fish eggs, which you can also just collect by shooting at them. Good to keep in mind. Now let's see what's over here. Also, oh, there's the Noctoball. They submerge. You have to submerge the Octoballs in ink to defeat them. Because they just spread ink everywhere. We need to sl slow them down and blow them up. Bravo. Also, I like the, the area here, which there's a light up there. And you can see a ceiling. Because this is actually uh, way underground. But they have giant, giant monitors to basically replicate the surface. Because the surface is currently owned by the Inklings. Which the Octolings, which are octopuses, basically. Octopus versus squid. Just, we need to, the, we're all fighting for the surface, basically. Ah, let me take you out, please. Just gonna keep painting, I think I should be able to take you out. Oh, I threw that one off the edge. I didn't think that was possible, but anyway. It's just such a cool world here. But anyway, um... Oh, it's a sucker fish. You can't damage these fellas. And they basically just clean up the ink wherever they are. So we need to basically be quick with it. Uh, but anyway, let's drop through here with ink, uh, squid form. And we can break this box to get the sea scroll. Sunken sea scroll, I believe. Right? Right? I don't know. But anyway, let's get back up here. We also can't paint on certain objects. Like grates or glass. Just basically the main platforms is what you can paint on and that's it. But anyway. You'll know what you can paint on when you, when you, when you can't paint on something. There's also, I believe, certain walls that you can't swim up all the way to the, to the top, like this over here. So if I paint all this, eventually it will hit the roof and we can't go any higher. It's usually fairly obvious what you can't go through as well, so... Let me get a few. Try and click that. Oh, hello. Get rid of you. Armor, marvelous. I like how they have the extra things like, on top of those cleaners, basically. But anyway, let's go up here. Please, thank you. Grab this extra fish eggs. Let's go up. Reach the, we reached the checkpoint, which is good. Also, if you fall off, you die and you have to go back to the last checkpoint, so don't fall off. Oh boy, I see what's happening here. Let's try and stop them before they break the boxes, because they can break boxes. Launch pad ahoy. Let's keep going. And now we're getting close to the end. Which is really cool because we're getting close to some really cool stuff. Just get rid of those. I think I got rid of all of them. Uh, we have some balloons which we can pop. Which should give us some more eggs. But I will also want to go up this way first. Because over here is the final checkpoint. Which will it'll tell us whenever we reach the final checkpoint. Uh, but also if we go into his squid form, we can use this ink cannon here. Which we can actually just shoot at, this wall, and it shoots a lot of ink and just powerful shots. So, 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 get rid of those, paint this whole wall, get some extra balloons, I guess. A lot of splash damage, get it? Splash damage. I've been waiting to use that one. I don't know if that's been used before, probably has. I'm assuming it's been used before, but for some reason I feel like I came up with that one on my own. <laughs> It's easy to climb the wall if you tilt the control pad up to look upwards. Apparently. But anyway, let's grab that. And we're done. Onwards. I like jumping into the zapfish at the end of every level. I don't know what it is, I just like doing it. But there we go, but we've got all the things. We Octarians dwell in a world deep underground. The individual caves in which we live are connected by a network of transport devices known as kettles. Wow! So that's how our home works. This is the... What I was explaining before about the, the walls being covered with the monitors and a light in the, at the top just lighting everything up and the ceiling. It's just really cool. It reminds me a lot of Pikmin 2 in the caves when you look, look in the background. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's keep going. So let's go into level number three. We need one more zapfish to continue. Rise of the Octocopters. They say the names of the enemies in, in the beginning of the things, but I don't remember what they are. There's something wrong with me. Leap to victory. I really wish I remembered the name of the enemies more. Because I usually remember the names of the enemies in other games. 
but not every game. But anyway, let's grab some of this extra stuff. Also, if we shoot this tree enough, it should just eventually drop droplets onto the ground, which actually count as painting, so... But anyway, let's keep going. Glide through this, the ink in squid form. I shall do that. Here are some, some of the octocopters, which basically they can fly around, which can be annoying to hit. But they can also shoot at us, obviously, because that's what everything does in this game. Let's jump across here. Grab some more eggs, because we're going to need them. Splendid! Super lit... Uh, I, I don't even know what that word is. Just good jumping, basically. I'm going to get rid of you. Just like that. That's it. Keep it up. Looks like we've also got some ink rails here, I think. I think that's what they are. Yeah, ink rails. Shoot them, and then they'll activate, and then we can actually go into them in squid form. Oh, hang on. I see you. Just some eggs, but that's still worth grabbing. And then we can just travel through it, which is helpful, so... Let's do that, but don't jump out of the form, uh, squid form, otherwise you'll fall out. Which can, it's not good over the cliff, so... Rest behind the wall if you need to, to get some extra ink. But we can just keep going, it's not too difficult. Okay, this is a special... The Ink Zooka. Press down the right stick to equip it, and then fire with ZR. So yeah, we can actually use the specials in this mode, as long as we find them... We can only hold one at a time, so we have to be careful when we use them. But then we can activate them and shoot everything all at once. Just so, so, so good. It only lasts for a limited time though, and we can only use it so much of it. So, because the more we use it, the more the time it goes down. Look, there's an octocopter down below. Okay. Get a review, you, get a review. Try and use this ink to our advantage as much as possible. Is there anything up here? There is the sunken sea scroll. But we're gonna have to make that jump, so that's gonna be interesting. Also, I like the music in the the adventure mode. Oh, please reach, thank you. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about the collectible. Oh, that's going up. Have moving platforms now. It seems to add lots of new features all at once, which I like. Usually each level kind of adds one new thing. But it's just added a fair bit all at once, as I seem. I knew you wouldn't disappoint. Thank you, thank you, Captain. Captain. Okay. More moving platforms. There she blows! That fish dead ahead. Okay. Final checkpoint, and we have a dangerous looking blighter, an octobomber. I remember this one, I believe. So this one flies around and throws bombs at us. We need to be careful of that. Because bombs can be pretty strong. Let's grab this and let's get rid of you. Just all at once. I really need to ink myself, but I'm every time I shoot this thing, it pushes me back a bit. So I need to be extra careful with that. But anyway, let's just go up to the end. Because we are here. There we go. And just like that, we've got three zapfish. This appears to be a machine designed for Octarians to ride, but there is nothing inside. The big question then, how does it move? Perhaps the Octarians are able to, to power it through hard work and willpower alone. I believe this is the, like the stand that the Oct Oct Octarians like stand on and shoot with and, or spray with. But it's just a, a cool thing that they just put more detail into the world with the collectibles. But anyway, we have enough zapfish to go to the boss of this part of the world. The zapfish- oh, I didn't mean to go in there. The zapfish's power has opened the boss kettle. Let me just quickly exit out of this. Don't need to kill myself, just need to quit and exit, return to Octo Valley. But while I'm here, I think I might just quickly check. By pressing uh, plus, we can go to power up. And we can actually unlock a few things, or we can upgrade our weapon to level 2, which will increase the rate of fire. Upgrade the tank capacity to have more ink available to us, so we don't have to run out as quickly. Which we can also tell how much ink we have by the ink bottle on the, our back, which is really cool. And also really helpful. We can also upgrade the blast radius of the the bombs from 1.3 or, or, or to 1.3, so it's a little bit bigger. 
We can also unlock burst bombs, which will explode as soon as they hit the ground, which I probably want to do. And seekers, the, uh, bombs that travel along the ground, homing in on foes. So let's... Oh, they used to be so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot about them. Let's unlock burst bombs for now, though. And now, I think we can switch them with the D-pad by pressing up. Or, you know, switch to the back to normal uh, ink. I can't remember the, 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 the... We can switch to the regular bombs by pressing left, but I believe the highlighted one is the one we have selected. So let's go in with all this. Squ uh, squish, squish, smash. The mighty Octo Stamp. It's a classic. We're gonna... We're gonna have a fun time with it. There's a zapfish. And it's being used to power this thing. So here we go, we need to ink the ground so we can move around as quick as possible because this thing is gonna jump at us. And we need to paint its sides. Go up, and then shoot its weak point, which we can also use the splash bombs to do some damage. But there we go, that's the first hit. But now it's got less on its sides to crawl up on, and we need to probably be careful now. There's also an edge of the world that we can go off the edge here if we want to, but that's not very helpful to us. Let's ink all of that so we can get up, we can go sideways, go up, and then do this. And there we go. There's also a deep sea scroll in this, but we don't need to worry about it until the end, so. Okay, final hit. It's got moving parts now. So we just need to hit those. Okay, dodge out of the way, but I think it's gonna trick us out. Jump at us. Oh, that was close. Paint all that, please. Paint all that, please. Oh, get up, get up. It's getting up, it's getting up. Oh, I missed. It's fine. At least I have that painted now. We just paint as much of this as possible so we can get it out of the way. Okay, it's jumping. Okay. Let's go up and go. It's a very satisfying explosion which paints everything around us. At the end of the boss though, there's the zapfish, obviously, but there's some fish eggs, and also the sunken sea scroll, so let's grab that. Also, I like the look of the arena around us, so... Just want to point that out, it looks really cool. But there we go. Alas, to think they even have great octo-weapons on their side. At any rate, excellent work, Agent 3. Keep it up! It's still a long road to the Great Zapfish. It really is. A anti -octo octopus weapons prototypes. Designer, Ammoni Schellendorf. Ammonites Booyah Base in Copolis. So now we actually have this. This, like, blueprints. Which we can take to Sheldon in the weapons shop. And he'll actually make a new, uh, this weapon available to buy so you can use it in multiplayer battles but anyway since I'm not gonna be doing that let's exit out of that let's fry this circuit because that's how it works and now we have an ink rail to the next world the area gate is open let us proceed to the next area Music's changed very slightly. But yeah, here we are. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.